In today's video, I will teach you how to add color to a black and white photo in PhotoP. Let's get started. Start by opening your web browser and go to the PhotoP website. Now go to File, then Open, and select the black and white image that you want to colorize. Then the image will appear in your workspace. In the Layers panel, click on the new layer icon at the bottom. This new layer will be used for painting color over the image. Now set the blending mode of this new layer to color. This blending mode allows you to add color to the underlying black and white image while preserving the details. Now choose the brush tool from the toolbar on the left side, or simply use the shortcut key B. Now click the foreground color box at the bottom of the toolbar to open the color picker. Then choose the color that you want to apply to a specific part of the photo. For example, skin tone, clothing, or background. Now set the appropriate brush size and hardness for your work. You can also adjust the brush size by simply pressing the open and close bracket key on your keyboard. Now begin painting over the areas of the image where you want to apply the color. Since you're painting on a separate layer with the blending mode set to color, the grayscale details of the photo will remain intact while the color blends naturally. Now use Ctrl and Plus or Command Plus on Mac to zoom in on specific areas to apply color more accurately. Then use a smaller brush size for detailed work, such as facial features, eyes, or small objects. For better control, create separate layers for different parts of the image, such as one layer for skin, another for clothing, and another for the background. Then set the blending mode of each new layer to color. If you accidentally applied color outside the lines, use the eraser tool to clean up the edges. If the color seems too intense, you can reduce the opacity of the layer in the layers panel until it looks more natural. And if you're happy with your work and want to flatten the image, you can merge the layers by selecting Layer, then Merge Layers. However, it's often better to keep the layer separate for future edits. Now go to File, then Export As, then choose your desired file format, for example, JPEG or PNG. Then save the colorized image to your computer. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.